Hey vapers, welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new here, welcome. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it and subscribe for more vape videos. Don't forget to turn on the bell notification symbol so you don't miss when I upload. I'm definitely trying to upload more consistently now. You can also find me outside of YouTube like Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. I have all those links in the description box below. I love to chat directly with you guys on Twitter and I love to post on Instagram story every day of like my normal life so it's like less related to vape things on my story but I do almost all my vape giveaways on Instagram Twitter and Facebook because you're not allowed to do vape giveaways technically here on YouTube so follow me there for giveaways and a little more personal connection with me if you so choose I also have a vape related patreon account where I do monthly vape rewards so if that's something that might interest you that link is below as well and I do have another channel here on YouTube where I do non vape videos mostly my other hobbies and vlogs so if you want to see what else I do besides vape you can check that out as well but let's get right into it today's video is not another pod thank God we actually have this huge looking tank the Falcon King by Horizon Tech Horizon Tech has come out with some pretty awesome stuff so let me try to figure out how to open this package oh wait there looks like there's a little pull tab for me oh there's like an arrow okay okay I'm, I'm tracking Ooh, okay got that off oh sticky oh get off it's like stuck <laughs> okay here we go oh my gosh this tank is huge i live for the drip tip why isn't it coming out <sighs> okay <laughs> there we go it was very nicely stuck in there which is nice that when you open the cap of the of the container that it doesn't just like fall over it's a pretty big tank so hopefully it'll fit on my little mod right over there so i'll show you what comes with the tank first things first is we have a ginormous coil an extra one i'm hoping there's one installed this is the m1 plus it does have a min line on the coil for like the minimum um, e-liquid level you should have in the tank to prolong the life of the coil it is also a 0.16 ohm and says 75 watts so i'm guessing that's like its best performance level so here is a close-up of the coil down in there let's see is it mesh it is a mesh coil installed is the m dual coil um i don't know the ohms of it specifically yet right at this very second also down in the container of the tank we do have an extra glass tube so i believe with the bubble piece that it comes in pre-installed with is six mils so this one is probably like five and extra o-rings and gaskets too i stand corrected the straight glass tube is four mils so it has the four mil option pre-installed with the six mil option but here is the tank. I really like how the resin drip tip matches the O-rings. There's triple airflow slots at the bottom that are adjustable and on a stopper. 510 threaded connection here on the bottom and it is a 25.4 millimeter diameter and 59.5 millimeters from the top to the bottom and it is a stainless steel and glass construction and resin because this is a resin drip tip that is removable but it goes so perfectly with the tank i'm going to keep it on and for the bubble glass tube diameter it's 26.2 millimeters and this is the first tank I'm going to try with the bamboo fiber coils and it's super easy. There's a button right here to fill. So you just press that button and swivel the top open and you fill in this little slot right here. Do not fill in there. You don't even have to swivel actually. Like you press this button and it freaking opens. Watch out. It'll decapitate you. Just kidding. That was a joke. Not for real. Gosh, don't use that against me, anti-vapers. And you can get this tank at directvapor.com. That is my favorite place to shop online. They have free shipping in the US and a great return policy and warranty policy. So today I'm going to be filling it up with my flavor, Cloud Kiss. Surprise, surprise. This is a strawberry cake batter flavor that Bonsai Vapor and I partnered up to create with the help of you guys too, actually. There was a lot of you that helped in the making of everything about this flavor. Um, it is available in 70% vegetable glycerin, 30% propylene glycol, 0, 3, 6, and 12 nicotine, 100 ml bottles. I do have a coupon code. You can use it at bonsaivapor.com. TIA20 gets you 20% off this flavor or actually any flavor on Bonsai Vapor's website, but like help your girl out and try her flavor. Support me 
in the best way possible. So this pre-installed M dual coil that it has is 0.3 ohm and it's telling me that it's good at 80 watts. So, you know, we can try it at 80 watts, but that's for me personally a lot higher than I like to vape. So, we'll, but we'll try it there first and then I'll see how I like it at 80 um, and we might adjust from there. And now that I'm thinking about it, I'm not even sure if the mod I'm going to put this on right now goes to 80 sorry but <laughs> so i'm gonna let that wick up really nicely and i'm gonna see how far this mod goes up this is just like a sleek black mod that i like to use um it's from kanger tech okay it does it does go to 80 and past 80 i want to check real quick and even see how high this one goes okay where it goes to 100 oh yeah it goes to 100 watts so this mod is good to try this tank so i will set it directly at 80 which is kind of intimidating for me i don't usually start out um when i'm doing these tank videos at uh, an, a level uh, i'm joking at a level that is too high for me too high quote not really but like i usually start low and then work my way up to it's recommended if it's higher than where i like to vape but I want to show you guys like exactly how it's gonna do but like also oh wow I was gonna say it's not gonna fit on here but it does it actually fits nicely on this mod it's like just about as tall as this little mod um, and this is the Vola it's actually an old mod by Kanger Tech but I love it because it's just like black black on either side and it's it does have a screen but you can't really see it so I just like it because pretty much anything matches with it and yes this is a new coil I'm going to let it soak up though so give me a minute I'm gonna do some movie magic it'll be like five minutes later when we come back and test it out I'm actually really excited to try this tank out more excited than like a normal regular tank because it has the bamboo fiber coils and I've never tried those before and also is that one a mesh coil I should have checked before I filled it up with e-liquid I know that the, the one it comes with the extra one is uh, mesh but I don't know about that one pre-installed I guess I could find out on the website but I just wanted to tell you guys it does come in different colors carbon black chrome black stainless steel purple blue green coffee gunmetal and rainbow and for some reason some of the other colors cost a little bit more which I don't know how I feel about that and I don't know if that's like a thing nowadays because I rarely buy new products <laughs> but that kind of sucks like you have to pay more for like the fun colors or like maybe your favorite color. Oh well. So this has been wicking up. I'm gonna give it a few priming pulls, which means I just like pull through it without pushing the fire button to help like gravity pull the juice up into the coil. And when I do that, I also shut the airflow off or like close to off. And when you can smell the e-liquid, through the drip tip is when you know your coil is nice and saturated. I'm nervous to vape this at 80. There's an air bubble in my juice hole. <sighs> Come on. All right, so we got wide open airflow, 80 watts, bamboo fiber coil, point, what was it again? 0. 0.38. <laughs> I'm nervous. Okay, I just took a baby one because your girl doesn't know what to expect. which wow mm. that flavor is so good it's so crazy i was gonna say funny but like I don't, it's not like haha -ha funny but it's just so weird i don't know what the word is i want to use to describe this but it's interesting how my flavor because i pretty much use my e-liquid flavor across the board when i'm no matter what i am looking at in a video to determine like how the flavor is coming through on some on something because it just makes it easier to use the same flavor and be able to compare how it comes through on different stuff and it's funny how it just it is kind of different for everything and then when I try something new like when I've tried mesh coils for the first time you know or a pod 
like it's it's interesting how it comes through differently and actually it's really tasty and pretty clean through these bamboo fiber coils on the first couple pulls definitely i'm an advocate for like you need to vape at least a tank full of e-liquid through a coil to really get it saturated and get the flavor in there good because there is going to be like spots that aren't completely saturated it's just how it is even when you're like building and doing cotton you have to run some e-liquid through your cotton before it's like fully saturated There was like one O, oh, like one okay one in there. Wow, this is making me feel like a fog machine, but it's not like force feeding me to where I'm feeling overwhelmed with vapor. It's like one of those where you vape it and you're like, mm, I don't really feel anything. And then you exhale and you're like, holy shiitake mushrooms. good it's good flavor good flavors delicious of course I might even turn the airflow down just a little bit only because it's kind of I'm feeling very um, a very airy inhale which the airflow is wide open so duh but maybe because that's usually just how I like to vape it but maybe having it halfway open will um, I'll have a little bit more control over my vape Wow, Woo. spit a little, that's cute. Really thick clouds too from here, clouds bitch. It's getting really vapey in here, at least in this little spot where I'm vaping. Not bad, you can see on the poles that I've taken, it's just like barely, barely down because I did fill this all the way up to get it good and saturated. Yum, yum, yum. All right guys, it's a tank, so there's not a whole bunch to say about it. I am really liking my first experience with bamboo fiber coils. I think the main thing about these bamboo coils, it's a very smooth, it's very a very smooth vape is what I'm noticing. A nice, like I'm not getting any I mean a little bit of coughing when I, you know, wasn't expecting how much vapor was gonna come, but like I can handle it like I feel like a big boy vapor big boy big girl grown girl big girl all right guys so again you can check out this Falcon King Birdmaster <laughs> I crack myself up like I'm probably not funny to anyone else but like I think I'm funny which is all that matters and like if you're wondering why I'm like wiping my eye this eye always waters in the corner and it'll water all day long whether or not i put makeup on so don't be like it's your makeup because it's not like but like it literally it'll water all day long i don't know why does anybody else say that it's really weird anyways you can pick up this tank at directvapor.com that's d-i-r-e-c-t-v-p-o-r.com and no they did not pay me to say that i just like saying the like reading out the websites now because you can't you're not supposed to link to the sites anymore so people who have been asking like why i don't put a link to the vape site for the products that i'm looking at anymore is because it's not allowed like it is there in black and white in youtube's terms of service it is not allowed to do that anymore so any vape channel um that is still linking to sites that where you click on it you go directly to the site where you can buy it they're risking their channel getting deleted from YouTube straight up. It's against the rules. So it's not worth it to me. I can just speak to you guys and like spell out the, the uh, website for you. Um, if you want, there is another video sharing website that I'm not allowed to name. YouTube doesn't allow you, but I'm a part of, and you can, you can link directly from that site too. So hopefully some of you do know what that is already. A lot of vape YouTubers moved to that site or didn't move, but like went to that site last year when YouTube was deleting a lot of um, weed channels and vape channels that had anything to do with weed. 
so over there you can like find the direct links if you need and i have account it's just that website slash to your verbs and if you don't know the website check my uh, facebook instagram or twitter i'll be posting there because i am uploading there too i'm uploading videos that i can't upload on youtube over there as well mature content i guess so after that rant that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And one more thing before you go, if vaping is something you're passionate about, please learn how you can fight for your right to vape. So as always, I'm Tia, and thank you so much for watching.